gonna make a best friend. Oh my goodness, can you believe it? We're home. Oh, happy Kelly. Upside down. <laughs> that just even makes it more cool and more ninja like, but. Willa, Willa Joe. Oh, thanks, buddy. Oh. All right, stick it on, bud. Yeah, we're gonna make it. We don't wanna cover anyone else. <laughs> We're going. We're going. We're going. We're going. So 2022, we as a family made New Year's resolutions. Jessica has a wonderful New Year's resolution for 2022. She wants to fully rebound from her ACL knee surgery. Uh, to make her goal more like precise, she wants to score a goal playing soccer. I'm gonna help you, babe. Kelly, what's your goal for this next year? Play soccer. Speaking of soccer, Callie's goal for 2022, he wants to join a soccer team. He wants to play soccer, uh, take up the family, Sport. Manila, what is your goal for this year? Learn ninja tricks. And then Manila, we had the opportunity to go see a show in Vegas. Our good friends Derek Huff and Haley Erber. Now, Manila, he wants to learn some of the ninja moves, the dance moves, that he saw in the Derek Huff show. Mine. This year is to get barreled, surfing. And it's, I've, I've got some rules for myself. One, two, and three. One, it's gotta be in nature. It can't be set at any of these like fake surf parks. Two, I gotta go into the barrel and I gotta make it outside the barrel. I've had a few experiences where I've gone into a barrel, but then I've died. Three, it's gotta be caught on camera. I, I need proof. All right, and then the last one, Dorothy's goal. And there's a reason why I bring this up last because it shook me to my core. Both broke my heart, but filled my heart. All right, say what you want. I want to make a best friend. Dorothy, above everything else, wants for 2022 to find a best friend. And I get where she's coming from. I had the opportunity to grow up with a very meaningful best friend. And she has many great friends. And I understand what she means when she says she wants a best friend, someone who 
literally lives next door that she can see on a daily basis that she can you know without telling anyone just run over to their house they're over to their house like that type of relationship and that's tough for us with our current circumstances and as a dad that's in a big way on me and so I'm going to make it a top priority there's potentially going to be some major changes coming for our family um but it's my number one focus her goal is now my goal it's called manifesting, okay? So you say exactly what you want for next year, and because you say it to the universe, it'll be more likely to happen, okay? All right, say what you want. I want to make the best I'm really on the ropes this time. I've been fighting all my life for you. I'm here to admit that you were my medicine. Oh, I couldn't quit. And I'm down on my knees again. Asking for nothing. Thank you for the happiest year of my life. Hi, guys. Today. Jared is injured. Thank you for the happiness <laughs> of my life. Ooh. Yeah. You did. <laughs> oh. Don't think I could forgive myself. I'm sorry for the ways that I used you. And I'm down on my knees again Thank you for the happiest year of my life Oh, thank you for the happiest year of my life Yeah Thank you for the happiest year of my life Thank you for the happiest year of my life. Cross this plan one but Get it, buddy. That camera. Yeah, I'm saying, because your hair looks good. I wanted to take a picture. <laughs> I'm going to end this video by sharing a short clip from our video podcast, Bucket List Friends. The topics we share on there are usually not appropriate, for this channel, I understand a lot of families and young people watch this. And the topic for this podcast I'm about to show you is Garrett's childhood abuse and spirituality. Neither of which I have ever shared and very, very rarely talk about. Uh, it was my idea. Jessica usually chooses our topics. And when I brought up the fact that I thought I wanted to talk about it, she was very surprised. Um, I don't think I could have shared it without her and her support. <laughs> You're doing You're this. Excited. Wow, this is impressive. No, do it. Get this out. You've never talked about this like this. <clears throat> so, Saying my dad, so three years after my parents split up, my dad goes on a date. I hope that some of you will watch it and that it will do some good in the world by being out there. Uh, I know it was a very healthy thing for me to finally get out, and I will put a link as to where you can find it if you want to sign up for Bucket List Friends or video podcast and watch this video. My sincere thanks to everyone who has already watched that video and sent me personal messages. My main takeaway from your messages is I'm not alone. There's a lot of people out there who have been through some major struggles and come out the other end stronger for it. And um, my story is just one story. There's so many out there and you people out there, you are strong. And I have so much respect and admiration for you. Thank you for sharing.